The overall goal of this procedure is to avoid distracting physical effects during in vitro shockwave treatment in order to achieve reproducible results. This is accomplished by first filling a cell culture flask completely with culture medium and then placing the flask into a heated water bath. The second step is to use a generous amount of ultrasound gel when coupling the applicator to the water bath. Next, the applicator is placed against the water bath's membrane in a horizontal manner. The final step is to ensure that the shockwave source is in line with the center of the cell culture flask in order to have the cells positioned within the wave focus. Ultimately, analysis of your cells can be performed, as in our example with real-time PCR and a cytokine array, to show an alteration in the genes and cytokines of interest. We first had the idea for this model when we saw that existing methods of applying shockwaves directly to cell cultures do not consider the effect of wave reflection at the transition from culture medium to the ambient air. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dr. Chan Tepekölü, PhD student from my research group. To begin, heat 3.5 liters of tap water to 37 degrees Celsius, then transfer the heated water to the water bath. The water level should be 3 centimeters below the top of the water bath and should cover the membrane completely. Next, connect the temperature sensor to a power supply and place the temperature sensor in the fitting on the back wall of the water bath. Then, while stirring the water continuously, connect the heater to a power supply and heat the water to a stable temperature of 37 degrees Celsius. <laughs> 